today we have with us J uh, Josh Munyan. Um, and Josh is from the US, so I'll be um, having this interview in English. Um, Josh is a videographer and he's part of the group, the creators group, that's what the group is called. And that's a curated group of videographers from the US. And Josh is here and um, he has spoken about the importance of having a psychological approach um, when um, 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 anal analyzing your targeted um, audience. Right? Yeah. Josh, welcome. Thank um, you. Thanks. The first question I have for you, um, as a videographer, mm -hmm. what do you consider to be good video content? Mm, that's a really good question. Um, good video content, from a creative perspective, is going to be content that sticks with you. So this would be like a branding video. It's going to attach a genuine emotion to whatever you're talking about. So good branding content, you can think of Nike, Apple, Adidas, or a company called Yeti. I don't know if you've heard of them, but this is this is going to be a video that really attaches a an important message, and you can tell it's a good video because when it's over, maybe you keep scrolling to f try to find the next one, or you binge watch it, you know, something like that. Uh, from a business perspective, good video is going to be something that gets you high return on investment. So if you're putting if you're spending five hundred dollars to have a video made and you're getting eight views on YouTube, that's not a good, that's not a good video. You're not getting any ROI. But if you're, if you're highly psychologically targeting an audience with your video and then you're, you're getting sales because that video was published and shown to your respective clientele, then that's the sign probably of a good video. Um, can you please tell us um, what you mean with a, a, a psychological uh, approach or psychological analysis? Yeah, absolutely. So when I talk about psychology of my videos, what I'm specifically referring to is, look, you have to get really specific when you're making your videos because you don't just want to make a video to target like a company. For example, you want to make a video that would target a specific person at a company. So in order, so it's like, well, that's a good question or that, that's a good statement. How do you follow up with that? How do you target a specific person at a company? Yeah. Well, let's do a little bit of psychoanalysis on that person. What are the problems that that person is having at his job or her job? What problem, what issues are they constantly facing at their work? And then what you do is, then you brainstorm an analysis of potential solutions to that person's problem. Mm -hmm. And then you make a video showing how you work through the problem of that person. You're like, hey, look, your problem at your job is that you're always trying to save your company money, but you're also trying to make sure that the employees are happy. Well, look at us. We can come in and with our technology, we can actually help you because we can help you out here and here and here and see how we do that. And then you make a video like that and then you send it to that person and you just keep sending it to them. And you try to get it to appear in front of them at least like seven times. And usually that will help them be moved to action and it'll give you a return on your investment. Yes, indeed. And that has worked um, very successfully for you, I, I, I suppose. Yes, yeah, I hope so. You know, I ha yeah. we have uh, clients as small as $250 a month all the way up to $75,000 that, that they're able to put towards video. So that's another thing uh, that we talked about here today at the conference is you don't need a big budget mm -hmm. in order to make really good video. What you need is you need to do be disciplined yeah. and you need to do the psychological homework on your target and then make the video and then you'll do a great job. All right, that's a very interesting insight. Um, what I also want to know of you is um, in this whole um, uh, creating of videos, you've worked um, with a lot of other videographers and a lot of other um, creators. Um, what was the most challenging or the most fun, perhaps, project you've worked on? Oh, that's a great question. I love making travel videos. Um, I love working on projects that involve like traveling mm -hmm. um, and involve in court. Last year I did a video about a little city in Spain and right. they have they have a festival once a year and the population of their of their city grows by like 5000 percent. And it, it only it fluctuates for like three days because everyone comes yeah. to the city to party yeah. for like five days and then they all leave. But there were some sensitive issues in there, like, for example, bullfighting. Mm. I don't know what it is here in Suriname, but like in Spain, some people have this perspective that bullfighting is okay. Mm. Uh, but it's, I don't know if you've ever seen a bullfight, but it's really gory and bloody and there's yeah. guts everywhere. And it's like, oh. it's, yeah, it's yeah. a lot. But 
a lot of people say that it's the tradition and it's the right of the Spanish people, but a lot of other people say, no, we need to progress, we need to outlaw it, it's animal cruelty. So it was interesting to like make a video about that yeah. and try to like put it out into the public and be like, so what do you guys think about this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed, <laughs> you know? that sounds like a challenge. Yeah. Um, how, what was the response on that video, if I might ask? Um, that's a good question. I tried, what I did was I showed up all I showed all the emotions leading up to the fight. So the matador, mm -hmm. the guy who fights, you know, I, sh I got up close shots of him like wringing his hands and waiting outside. And then I got up close shots of like the kids complacently just sitting there on the metal railing watching the bullfight because they're used to it, which is like, ooh, that's yeah. desensitized. So I tried to get all these nuanced things that were happening. And then even leading up to when the bull is like running out in slow motion, I got some cool drone shots. But then at the moment when the matador is gonna strike the bull and impale him, then I like cut. I mean, I didn't like leave them high and dry, like, and cut, surprise. <laughs> no, I didn't do that, but yeah. I just, I tried to make it into a, an emotional roller coaster narrative, and it ended up being, um, I only had two people complain about it, but honestly, if I would have put the raw footage on there, yeah. like I said, the raw footage looked like World War II, so it was like, it was pretty intense. But um, overall, it was received really well, and people, people enjoyed it. Um, and it was shared very broadly within that community. So I gained like 500 Spanish subscribers from putting out the video. <laughs> all right, nice, yeah. very nice. Yeah. Now, Josh, um, I wish you all the success with your work and with, um, I wish you a lot of creativity and uh, a lot of new clients um, through your psychological analysis. Cool, all right. thank you all very right. much. Thank you for being Thanks. here.